A milestone today for Pope Francis. He is marking 10 years as head of the Roman Catholic Church. He celebrated Mass with Cardinals and released his very first podcast. Chris Livesay looks back at the Pope's first decade at the Vatican and the biggest issues he faces going forward. Ten years have passed since Pope Francis stepped under the balcony of St. Peter's Cathedral as the first Latin American pontiff. Buonasera. Succeeding Benedict XVI, who had become the first pope in six centuries to resign. After Benedict, the great theologian, after John Paul II, the great evangelizer, people needed a pope close to them. Francis, in many ways, has been transformative. Pope Francis celebrated the first decade of his papacy Monday in a private mass with cardinals at the Vatican after releasing his first podcast, or PopeCast, as it's been called. The 86-year-old reportedly asked aides, what's a podcast, and then jumped into conversation, saying it seems like yesterday that he was elected pope and that the best gift on his anniversary would be peace. We need peace, he said. Taking his name after St. Francis of Assisi, Pope Francis shunned the lavish papal apartments, residing instead in a modest hotel for visiting priests. He's washed prisoners' feet, advocated for refugees and migrants, even cracked open the door for the LGBT community with a single phrase, who am I to judge? But despite setting up new standards for reporting clerical sex abuse, victims say there haven't been enough consequences for bishops accused of harboring predator priests. Right now it is appearing that no one has done less than this papacy itself. Still, supporters call his first 10 years as Pope the Francis Revolution, crediting him with choosing service and kindness over the power of the papacy.